All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can master the absolute position and you know when to use it because I don't really advise using the absolute position and unless you really, really need it. So to start, here we have those lights you can see here. I'm just going to show you how much of a difference those make to the design. If I hide them, there's a big, big difference here. Like, do you see how the design changed the entire, um, like how the lights changed the entire design? If I bring them back, now things looks way better. And those are shapes. So this is like basically an, an uh, ellipse like circle that it distorted and I have here the fill with white and black the black which is the background color and then I add a blur and that's it and after I put it inside of a frame that is in a position absolute and so if I do here relative then it won't work but we, we have to put it in absolute position so it is stacked behind it and see you, you you see here how things are messed up so the way we fix it we just bring here to zero and even even that we will put it a little bit here all right and then we can do because now the basically the um the nav bar is behind the lights and so the way we're gonna add a z index and actually no is it behind or is it on top yeah actually it's actually behind because the nav bar is transparent and that's why we are seeing the lights if i change the nav bar let me just give you a quick example here i'm gonna put it black so you can see that the lights is behind okay so now we can bring it back here. So just to, for you to understand. Hey, okay. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, that's one thing with the uh, with the lights. And I'm going to recreate them for you on a new project. So let's get started. Here, I'm just going to put black. And then we're going to add here layout no you know what we're gonna i'm gonna leave it like that and then i'm gonna take frame all right and draw a rectangle and then we're going to add a radius that will be 500 even more than that yeah 800 whatever whatever that might be and then you can play around with it so that seems okay. Then we're going to add a fill. So that will be white and then that will be black. You can play with it like this. Okay. And then we're going to add blur. So click on filter, BG blur. And then BG blur will be 38. Um, is it BG blur or is it blur? Oh yeah, it's blur by the way. Sorry about that. Remove 38. And so even that is not really that much. And then after we play with the opacity. Yeah, 4 seems right. And then, yep, you see, this is absolute position. And then you can just play around with it, place it wherever you want. And then I can place it here. And then we can duplicate that by maintaining alt and then release the alt. And what I'm going to do here is just inverse the rotate. You see here, nine, nine degrees we do minus nine degrees so it's the reflection of this and that's pretty much it here so then after we want to add a frame to it 
and call them lights and it's already in an absolute position so you don't need to do more for that then you click on here i wanted to lock it down so you can work on top of it and you see here those shape here like it's kind of messed up and the way that you fix that is by clicking here overflow visible all right then we want to do that for tablet and mobile so for tablet it's kind of already good like you don't have to do something fancy i just leave it as it is and for mobile that's where i actually want to make this look better because it's kind of not really adding a flare but again if i remove it i come here i do no you see how much of a difference that makes for the design but if you really want to change them so i will click here i will lock down the ratio and then i'm gonna to give it like maybe a hundred so that's a little bit too small and then bring it yeah just let me play around with it a little bit okay so now here is the light so that's 147 let's do 150 for the sake of it and then that's 150 as well and then we're gonna just i'm gonna bring it back here And then we can, and you can unlock the ratio. So I can just do that like this. Same thing for this one. All right. And here you have it. Then I can just lock it back down. And that's how you use the absolute position at your advantage. And if you move throughout the design, we see that I have the lights uh, pretty much where I want to bring emphasis. And without them, again, like the design is very, very, like just not the same as it is with the light. You know, it's a small difference that makes all the difference. Okay, it's all in the details. So this one is basically the same thing. If I take it, it has to be on the section, okay? And the way that you actually make it like this, I'm gonna give you an example. I will just copy the first light here. Okay, Command C. Let's say I want to add it into this section here at the bottom okay so i come here i passed it i give it absolute position as well and then i just play around with it and then i bring it uh, okay that's kind of messed up actually where's my light okay let me call it light again and then I just, you know, I'm, I'm moving it with my keyboard here. As simple as that. But I don't want to have it here at the end of the day. <laughs> Why? Because I already have those lights here. And if you see the details, the details, oh my God, the details are very very small because the light is coming from the circle okay and so every light is coming from this circle basically we have the big circle coming from the circle then circle again here circle again and here is just like the footer and that's it and on the bottom as well we have the lights Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any more question, let me know. By the way, this was uh, a video answer to this particular question. Hopefully, that was informative.
and answer the question. If you have any more questions, again, put them on the description. I will make a video like just like this one answering yours. And so see you next time.